is it. This is the 150 plus page budget summary. This is all part of a budget the governor acknowledges comes with challenges, but one he also maintains will benefit California. Very challenging experience for the team. Governor Gavin Newsom not mincing words about what it's been like putting together this coming fiscal year's budget. A budget that, per Newsom, comes with a projected $37.9 billion deficit. That figure is much more optimistic than that of the Nonpartisan Legislative Analyst's Office, or LAO, who just last month released this report projecting a $68 billion deficit. Newsom believes that projection was way off. I hope you're immediately correcting that number. We have been pretty damn transparent with you uh, by making the point publicly, not just privately, that that number was not the number. Newsom says the major difference in projections stems from his administration anticipating more tax revenue. Still, he does acknowledge the state faces a significant deficit that, in his words, we're certainly prepared to work through. To balance the budget, Newsom says he's taking action on several fronts, including the withdrawal of more than $13 billion from the state's reserves. He also plans to save $11.9 billion in what he describes as belt tightening. That includes spending freezes for new state cars and unessential state travel. Then there's $8.5 billion in cuts, including nearly $3 billion for climate programs and another $1.2 billion for housing programs. As for whether he plans to raise taxes? No, is the answer. Regarding his spending priorities, Newsom says homelessness is towards the top of his list. I want to see these encampments cleaned up. And I'm not seeing it as aggressively as I want to see it. While the budget does make cuts to climate spending, Newsom says a $10 billion investment from the federal government actually offsets that. Unprecedented commitments on climate that actually will grow because of the support of the federal government. But the budget's largest investment is in public education with more than $109 billion in that category. Addressing the issues of learning loss and advancing our efforts around learning recovery. Republicans argue this budget is not fiscally prudent enough and will lead to even more deficits in future years. My real question is, do we have a sustainable spending plan? And uh, one would have to question that because uh, the governor's budget in the out years forecasts continued deficits uh, in the 25-26 budget year there's a deficit forecast of 33 billion dollars so one has to say this is not a sustainable budget plan and we reached out to the legislative analyst's office about their projection that this will be a 68 billion dollar deficit and they say they stand by that number reporting live here at the state capitol covering local news that matters Aton wallace Fox 40 News.